Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson. Tonight it's Friday. We'd hope to do a lighter show, but unfortunately we're not in charge of the news. Joe Biden is. For nine months, Biden's White House has lurched from crisis to crisis to crisis, most of them of its own making. Since January, there has hardly been a single day when Americans could fall asleep confident their country is calm, safe, and in good hands. But tonight, unfortunately, we find ourselves on the brink of the gravest crisis yet, a total breakdown in the most basic functions in our society, in any society. Fire and police protection, hospitals, the military, schools, long-term care facilities for the elderly and the disabled, road maintenance, public transportation, food and freight delivery, air travel. All of these services, which are the hallmarks of a civilization, are rapidly degrading. And soon, thanks to the Biden White House, they may be completely paralyzed. Millions of Americans have been told to submit to Joe Biden's lunatic vaccine mandates or be summarily fired. For many of them, the deadline is tonight at midnight. Now, these are our country's essential workers. These are not lawyers and activists and cable news anchors. These are nurses and cops and Navy SEALs and pilots and air traffic controllers. These are the people you cannot run a country without, but soon we may be forced to anyway. In the state of Washington, thousands of cops, teachers, nurses, and bus drivers are about to be fired. It is not clear how the state of Washington will function once that happens. Joe Biden doesn't care. In Los Angeles, the city is looking at losing fully a quarter of its entire fire department in a single day. There is no precedent for that. People will die because of it. The LAPD is likely to lose many of its officers as well. So America's second largest city will plunge inevitably into chaos. Keep in mind, there is no public health justification for any of this. None. Instead, it is an assault on public health. Americans will lose their lives because of what Joe Biden is doing. It is the most unnatural disaster imaginable. Tomorrow, we believe there will be another major disruption of service at Southwest Airlines. Planes won't take off. And possibly at at least one major air traffic control center as well. Employees there are not on strike. No, they're desperate to save their livelihoods from Biden's mandates. They are being fired from jobs they've spent their lives preparing for, and in many cases, truly love. Watch this video from persecuted Southwest employees, and you can feel their sadness. Say prayer, turn the tide, dry your tears and wave goodbye. Step into a Ah, keep in mind that none of these people did anything wrong. They served faithfully through the pandemic and safely, and now they're being fired. One of those signs read, 16-year flight attendant, 36-year-old single mom, my Lord and Savior and my doctor are the only ones qualified to tell me what to put in my body. Well, she's absolutely right about that. Why is the administration hurting her? And in fact, hurting all of us. 